hello everybody, my name is Kawhi, and today I'm going to show you how to make a mod. I'm also going to teach you guys, like, how to add in an ore and a tile and set that up. So, at this site, I'll put the link in the description so you don't have to type it out only on your own if you don't want to. So you have your mod name, you have your mod's display name, so that's basically what it's going to show up in your browser or your mods. And this is like what the files will be. Your first item's name, mod author, your username. Now, I'm just gonna go through this really quickly, blah, blah, blah. You do that, you generate mod skeleton, and you get all that. Okay, so when you extract it, you'll get this minus the tiles, because I have set this up, I set this up beforehand. And so you can drag it over, You take that zip file and you put it in your thing you can you can extract you click extract here not extract to its own folder because that will put this in another folder called itself so it will be tutorial mod tutorial mod and then you'll get this screen and you don't want that you just want the one so you want to add a tiles file um, but first we're gonna go so what I use to make textures is I for the sake of this I'm just gonna show you I have pistol pixel editor program and I have T extract and I have all those extracted files from Terraria and in that folder so I got all that and let's just go over to the tutorial war I'm gonna get do some basic lay down so using Terraria using terraria.id, using terraria.modloader, uh, namespace tutorial mod.items, open bracket, public class tutorial or uh, colon or semicolon, I don't remember which one is which, mod item, and you want to make sure that's like a bit ahead of it. You can just use a single tab in fact. This and it will work just fine. I did have this set up earlier, but if I messed, I don't know, I messed it up. Uh, there we go. Double-tab that. Double-tab that. And you guys can just use tabs, or you can use spaces. It doesn't affect it all that much. But you'll, I find that using tabs generally gets it to be um, really clean and flush, and you get accurate uh, um, accurate results each and every time you use it. And so, okay, we need to move that up. I believe. I think. My memory's not working. And then you have that. So that's closing in. You open up another one. And then you have that. You have to have that again. that out closes that and so you have public class tutorial or mod item public override void set static defaults and then you have display name set default and then your or name you can make sure you have a space otherwise it's just not going to show up properly well if you don't have the space there will show up like that and that will be your item name so you want to you want a space in there you can have the description you don't need to and that will be the, like the tool tape tip or the lore. Uh, public override void set defaults. Uh, item width, item height, 
use time, item.use animation, item.rare, which is the quality of it, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can, you know, get an idea on how that works. Use style, which is the sword swinging, and that's how placing blocks works. The how much it's worth. Uh, value is the coin currency, I think I said that. Um, the item use sound, that's the sound it will make like when placing, I'll, or like when swinging, and I'll be sure to include a list of sounds you can use. Um, it's not a very big list, but it should help. Auto reuse makes it so you can automatically just walk in place instead of having to click each and every time. Uh, instead of having to click it each and every time when wanting to place something. Item consumable means you like it's not an infinite use item. Create tile is like the tile you're actually creating and item max stack is the maximum amount you can carry at a time. Now if we go over to tiles um, you can leave the other stuff as is. It's fine. And you'll find that if I actually make it so you guys can see large icons you can see I have a custom model or sprite for that also torn out of Terraria and just recolored. Uh, tutorial or tile. T using Terraria, using Terraria.id, using Terraria.modloader. Now using Microsoft.xna.framework, using Microsoft.xna.framework.graphics. Namespace tutorial, but instead of items, you have it set for tiles. And then you have your namespace or like whatever it's called. So that's what it's searching for the item. I found out you actually don't need to have it um, this set up for the same name. You don't need to have them the same name. But I find it it's better to have it as the same name because that makes more sense. It works better. The color of the uh, right here we have public override void set defaults. This means it's a solid tile and you can't walk through it. Uh, this means it merges with dirt, like the textures connect. This means it can like light up and no, well, not light up, but has light affecting it. Um, this means it produces light, and we're just going to leave that on false because I don't have the code for it. We have it, what it drops for items. We have it's dropping itself, the item that places it. Uh, mon translation name is basically saying um, what item, what name is going to be set, and this sets the value for the name. And then we have here it says add map entry. So like if you look on the mini map, that's what it's going to show. It's going to show this color, which is the RGB number. And you can look up on Google. I'm pretty sure Google has like um, an RGB RGB thing. So does Pisco, in fact. If I go here, you see that is your RGB thing. You can just use that, and that will work just fine. And then it has name, and that's this. And whenever you scroll over the or on the map, or that's what it will show for the name. And we're going to put this at minimum pick of 50, just so like copper has a pick of 30, while like the slower pickaxe has 225. I believe copper has 30. You've got a 35. I don't remember exactly. I'm just gonna save that, and we're gonna go into the game, and then you can just build and reload it. And this, so I have Heroes Mod also installed. That will allow us to, you know, check out and see what there's going to be. Um, like you can get your item out of the mod. Now, I have a question for you guys, right as it's loading and lagging in the process of loading because my Terraria thing sucks for whatever reason today. Normally it doesn't do this. Um, what do you guys want to see next? What do you guys want to see done next? I have a plan on what to do. Like, I want to make an, like a weapon. Although, if you guys want something completely different, just ask. And I will supply to the best of my ability. Um, in the future, we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to make it so this ore naturally generates. Because if you go into my main mod that's actually released to Ryan Exploration Plus, you see that there's like 
38 ores that naturally generate and 5 stone. Or like, stones. So we're just gonna go into the mod tester. And we're just gonna go into the mod testing world, although it doesn't exactly work because I have some stuff in there that is from my other mod that I thankfully not gonna be able to show you because I do not have that mod enabled. And so, I don't think I have that mod enabled. We'll see. So it should, the stuff I already have placed down should show up differently. Yeah, I don't. What? Okay, so yeah, you see it's all pink. You have blocks or stuff set up. It's just gonna, you can have blocks and that stuff sort of thing. It's just gonna do that. Um, okay, so we go into the item browser at some point, if it, oh wow, it's lagging at everything I do, that's unusual. Um, we got tutorial ore, it's right here, and the other things are just, you know, things they have. You'll see that it's the basic, oh, well, let me turn on god mode and disable enemy spawns. Um, this is tutorial ore, it has a max stack of 999, and tooltip is this is a tutorial ore basically saying that's what it is tutorial ore okay I obviously messed up the tile because it's placing dirt um oh wait I know why uh man I messed that up let's go to items and so I messed up. Um, here we have tutorial ore. It's supposed to be tutorial ore tile. Now you save that. Now that's just like one of the things. That's just to show you. If you mess up, you can always just fix it. We're just gonna get the pick power. We're gonna get the lowest power pickaxe. Yeah, the copper's 35. We're just gonna get bone pickaxe. I think that, yeah, that has 50. Okay, so we're gonna exit, exit out. We're gonna rebuild this mod. And that's the thing. Sometimes you'll make errors and you'll have to go back and check. So, for me, I actually didn't notice. I'm not gonna lie and say I did that. And just to show you guys. No, I actually forgot to change it when I had the name. And so we're just gonna change this. We're gonna set it to as soon as this thing finishes loading. That would be very nice. Um, any day now. Why is it loading so slowly today? Like everything's been loading very slowly today, even though normally it loads really, really quickly. Um, let's exit out and go back in. Okay, there we go. Uh, compiling tutorial mod for Windows. Now, when you place down the ore now, it will place down the ore you actually have. And, of course, um, if you guys want, I can actually release an open source thing for this thing, and you guys can, you know, check it out there, and, you know, have a good time. And that would be pretty good, I think, because then you guys can compare it and contrast it, on, or you can just use the mod I have. I'm gonna maybe perhaps release this. I'll I'll probably put this on like GitHub, and then you guys can you know check it out, learn how things are programmed, and I'll and each time I put a new episode out, I'll update the file works and stuff like that, and all that. And so I'll have all the the entire mod on GitHub. You can download the entire mod, and then you know just you know like play it if you so chose. But, okay, we're gonna go back in the mod testing world, and we because why not? And you'll see that as soon as I have this. Um, also, random generation is gonna be a cool thing to have happen. Because that 
is something I'm actually looking forward to because it took me forever to figure that out. But when I got it, I was happy. I was like really happy. So you now can see this is the tutorial for it's a nice green color. But if we try to mine this with the copper pickaxe, it doesn't work. But with the bone, which is at 50%, it does work. Anything below 50% pickaxe power will not work. And that's the beauty of it. So, that's how you add ores to Terraria. If you guys enjoyed the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and see ya.